Make grocery bags into sleeping bags for the homeless. Start with the inside liner garbage bags. Cut the bottom off of the top one so that you have a tube. Slide the two overlap each other and tape them together with duct tape. Be sure to spread that apart. Next, take the grocery bags and tie them to themselves in a square knot to make uh, the first link. That's right over left and then left over right to make a square knot. Next, uh, you'll take the vertical link and then you'll do a horizontal link and then a vertical link until you've got uh, the right width that you want. Next, start the second row of vertical links um, and complete that all the way across. Then the next step is you'll take the next horizontal bags and tie those together. I like to have the knots facing all to the left so they fill in the voids. Um, and then once you've completed that row, start over again with the verticals. So once you've got the mat tied together uh, for the desired length, then you place it not side down um, and then place the inside liners garbage bags on top of that and then tape the, uh, the mat to the garbage bag so they won't shift. Next, place the top mat uh, with the knots upward and go ahead and tie bags around the edges to... Uh, to complete it. You don't have to go all the way up if you want a slit to access the inside of the sleeping bag. Next, put the uh, bottom garbage bag for the liner. Cut the, the seam off of the top one. Slide that all the way down and then uh, position and then overlap the inside liner excess over and on top of the outside liner and tape that into place. Remember, use duct tape. Uh, for best results. Also pull apart the garbage bag so that you won't create a constricted point. You want it to be as wide as possible. And there you have it. The finished sleeping bag we tested out in the cold and with the snow and it was actually a little too warm. Um, so visit probioticmaker.com homeless to uh, get more information.